Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sasha, if you guys are new around here, I'm a makeup artist and content creator based in New York City. And in today's video, I'm sharing the best products from The Ordinary. This video is a long time coming. I've been using this brand for about two years now. I've tried a lot of products from the brand and today I got to narrow it down to nine products which was really hard, but I'm really excited to share with you guys my tried and true products. These are products I would recommend to anybody. Before I get into this video and talk about every single product, I do wanna talk a little bit about brand history, why this brand is so cheap, where they're from. I get a lot of questions on that, uh, if this brand is legit. And at the end of the video, I am gonna be talking a little bit about how to layer these products how to incorporate them into your own skincare routine because it can be really intimidating when you're starting out. So we're gonna talk all about that today. So if you guys are interested in The Ordinary, then keep on watching. So if you guys have never heard of The Ordinary, they're a skincare brand that's based in Toronto, Canada. They're pretty new to the scene. They've only been around since 2016, but if you guys didn't know already, they have a huge cult following. I'm part of that cult following. This is really important to know about the brand, but their whole brand is based on transparency to their customers, meaning they don't mark up their prices like crazy like most skincare companies do. If you guys didn't know, a lot of skincare ingredients are very inexpensive and they're very cheap to produce, but what a lot of skincare companies do is they mark up the prices like crazy, they spend a lot of money on fancy packaging, advertising, celebrity endorsements, all of that. So that's why skincare can be very expensive. And The Ordinary is the exact opposite of that. They really just care about ingredients that are science-based and effective. Everything comes in really minimal packaging, nothing fancy. They're also both vegan and cruelty-free. So if you guys didn't know, I only use brands that are 100% cruelty-free on this channel. All right, now that you guys know a little bit more about The Ordinary, I'm gonna jump right into the products. And the first product I'm gonna talk about is my holy grail product, I've talked about this product so many times, even right here on this channel, and that is a Grand Active Retinoid 2% Emulsion. So what this is, is a retinoid, which is actually stronger than a retinol. Um, a retinol is something that you can buy over the counter. A lot of skincare companies sell a retinol, uh, but a retinoid is on the same level as prescription drugs like tretinoin. So what you're really getting here is prescription level product which is amazing and effective. I'm gonna post a before and after here. Before I started using this product, I had a lot of acne scarring, I had dark spots, I had really bad skin texture, and all of that was from cystic acne in my 20s. And within one month of using this product, I saw a huge difference in my skin. Until this day, I still see a huge difference in using this product. If you guys are not yet using some form of retinol, I highly recommend it because a retinol will address a number of issues on the skin. Literally everything from reducing acne scars, fading dark spots and hyperpigmentation, uh, addressing anti-aging issues like fine lines and wrinkles. It also helps with acne and it's also preventative. To me, it eliminates so many products that I have to use. And if I had to choose one product here today out of everything, it would be retinol. If you're new to retinols, I recommend this one specifically. And the best thing about it is that it's non-drying to the skin, it won't flake, it doesn't cause any irritation, no redness, it's just amazing. And the formula is really nice too. It's very lightweight, almost is like a lotion, and it spreads really nicely into the skin. You can use this every single night, and retinol is meant to be used at nighttime, so just keep that in mind. And you wanna use this after any water-based serums that you have, and before moisturizers. And if you're ever confused on what order uh, skincare should be, should it always go from thinnest texture to thickest texture so just keep that in mind also definitely know your order of skincare that's really important always have that as a guide in the back of your mind so with this product you want to just use a small amount so I use about a pea size amount and I apply this after washing my face uh, if I am using a serum that has a very thin texture, then I'll apply that first and then I'll apply the retinol because the retinol has more of a lotion feel to it. It is a little bit thicker in consistency, so you want to use that after any serums and then your moisturizer. So that's kind of the order uh, in which I incorporate the retinol. One thing I want to mention is that you don't want to use retinols and acids on the same night. Technically, you 
can use them on the same night but you just have to wait 30 minutes between each step and I don't know about you guys but I don't have that time I just like to apply my skincare so what I do is I alternate between my retinols and acids every single night we'll definitely get into acids if you guys are very confused on what I'm talking about but I am going to share a few acids with you guys so I alternate between my acids and retinols every other night my skin has no issues and my skin loves this retinol so I highly recommend this one again this is a Grand Active Retinoid 2% Emulsion the second product that I have here is one that I've already made a whole video about on my channel which is the AHA 30% BHA 2% peeling solution I'll link the video below in my description box in case you guys are kind of wondering what this product looks like on the skin how to use it and all of that uh, but what this is is a chemical exfoliant if you guys are not familiar with AHAs and BHAs definitely get familiar because these are ingredients that you want to be using in your skincare so AHAs and BHA stand for alpha and beta hydroxy acids some AHA acids are glycolic acid lactic acid mandelic acid there's a lot more uh, and then there's BHA acids which is just salicylic acid so when you use all these acids combined what they do is exfoliate the outer layer of your skin to give you a brighter and more even appearance so after I use this facial I immediately notice a difference in my skin these are one of those products that you will notice a difference after just using it one time. AHAs and BHAs do a number of things to the skin, everything from clearing blemishes to treating fine lines and wrinkles, reducing acne. It has a lot of the same benefits, if not very similar benefits to retinol. But the main thing about it is that it's gonna give you a brighter appearance to your skin because it's really just removing all the dead skin cells off. There's a very specific way to use this product and you really wanna follow instructions because these are acids you really want to be careful so this is recommended to be used one to two times a week uh, I was using it twice a week now I'm just using it once a week because I am using other acid products and I really don't like to go overboard but I use this about once a week kind of like how you would apply a mask once a week or kind of treat your skin once a week to that like special something this is definitely a nice treat to the skin and it doesn't feel as pleasant at first if you're new to acids this is definitely going to tingle um, my skin is very used to acid so it barely tingles for me nowadays but you want to apply this on for 10 minutes and you don't want to go over 10 minutes you definitely want to wash it off with lukewarm water after 10 minutes and you will see a difference right away your skin is going to look brighter and it's just going to look amazing I really don't like to incorporate this product with my other skincare products so I'll apply this on like a mask in the middle of the day that way I don't use it with my morning products i don't use it with my night products i do this just once a week it's a nice treat to your skin i do want to warn you guys that this product does tingle especially if you're new to acids and you've never used acids before i would start off really slow i would do a patch test first i just wanted to warn you guys because everybody's pain tolerance is different some people say they barely feel a tingle and that it's very tolerable and i've heard people say that it feels like their skin is on fire so really different ends of the spectrum so again this product is really different for everybody but it is so effective and it really does a number of things to the skin it's a great maintenance and you really see a difference right away also a fun little fact this is a dupe to drunk elephants baby facial which is $80 they both have very similar ingredients and percentages actually I have the product one sec it's the TLC Sakari baby facial and this one has 25% AHAs and 2% BHAs and the ordinary has 30% AHAs and 2% BHAs so the percentages are very similar the AHAs and the ordinary are a little bit higher but they generally do the same thing they're both facials yeah that's just a fun little fact uh, I actually have a lot of products that can be comparable to the ordinary so if you guys are interested in seeing that video let me know below because I think that could be really interesting third product I want to talk about is the glycolic acid 7% toning solution so what this is is a toner that has glycolic acid in it glycolic acid is a alpha hydroxy acid and it's the acid that penetrates the deepest out of 
all the acids. So it's really gonna get in there and address a number of issues. I'm gonna be talking a lot about acids today and what they are and what they do. So if you ever forget what glycolic acid does or lactic acid and all of these things, just remember that they treat a number of concerns on the skin, but they mostly exfoliate the outer layer of the skin to give you a brighter appearance. And it's also gonna help with clearing blemishes and reducing acne and hyperpigmentation and scarring and all of that. So just remember that it's really helping to give you a clearer complexion. Since this is a toner, it's pretty straightforward. You would use this after you wash your face and you wanna just take a cotton pad and just saturate the cotton pad and just wipe it all over your face. Now you will feel a slight tingle, especially if you're new to acids. So this isn't the kind of toner that you would wanna start using every single night. When you first start, try one to two times a week and then from there, increase the time as your skin gets acclimated and used to it. Like I mentioned earlier, I don't like mixing acids and retinols on the same night. So if I'm using my Grand Active Retinoid 2% Emulsion, I won't use any AHA, BHA products in my routine that day. I just like to keep it separate. I love this glycolic acid. I find it to be really effective. And this is a brand new bottle, but I did finish an entire one. And you see a difference in your skin right away. You wake up in the morning with really clear skin and it just like feels like you have a new layer of skin. Fourth product I wanna talk about is lactic acid 5%. And lactic acid is another alpha hydroxy acid and it's like glycolic acid, but it's a little bit more gentle on the skin. So if you're someone that has sensitive skin, if you're someone that's new to acids, it's definitely great to start with lactic acid. Lactic acid is good to treat dry, dead skin and it's also gonna help to improve the hydration in your skin. So the way that you would use this product, and again, you don't wanna use it on the same night that you're using retinols. I'm probably gonna sound like a broken record and repeat myself over and over again. Lactic acid and glycolic acid are very similar and they do a lot of the same things. Glycolic acid penetrates deeper into the skin and will promote cell turnover, so it's gonna give you that fresh new skin. And lactic acid is really good for treating the surface of the skin. So it's gonna to help to smoothen out the skin, polish it, firm it, um, it's really good for that. So you wanna use this at nighttime and it has a very like watery texture, so it's very easy to apply. You definitely wanna apply it after applying your toner, before your heavier you know, creams and oils and all of that. So this is a really easy product to incorporate into your routine. This is really important. It says, can be diluted with other treatments to reduce strength until skin develops tolerance. So you can actually mix this with any other treatments that you have. So let's say you're using a serum already. You love that serum. That serum works out great for you. You can apply a tiny bit of this into your serum and apply it all together. That way you're kind of slowly introducing the product into your routine. All right, the fifth product I wanna talk about is hyaluronic acid. So hyaluronic acid is not an exfoliating acid, so it's not like glycolic acid, lactic acid. It's It has a totally different purpose and benefits to the skin. Hyaluronic acid is something that's naturally produced in our bodies and has a lot of different uses, but its main function is to retain water and draw moisture to the skin. So hyaluronic acid is actually in a lot of hydrating serums, moisturizers, it's a hydrating agent. The best thing about hyaluronic acid is that it plays well with a lot of other products like retinols, vitamins, peels, you can use this. You can drop this into your face cream and mix it all together. It's just really hydrating on the skin. Anyone can use this, but especially anyone that has a drier skin type can really benefit from this. Or if you're someone that is starting to see fine lines and wrinkles and you want just really plump, glowy, hydrated skin, you definitely want to incorporate HAs into your routine. So I like to use this at night. I like to use it at night because I notice that it pills uh, with my makeup when I use it in the morning. This specific HA has a very gooey texture, so it's a little bit thicker than uh, lactic acid, which I mentioned has like a water texture, so it's very thin. This has more of a gooey texture to it, so let's say you're applying lactic acid, you would apply this first, and then hyaluronic acid after. Um, again, you just wanna go from thinnest to thickest texture. That is really what all of this is about. 
Hyaluronic acid is amazing. This is so easy to incorporate into your routine, especially if you have dry skin. And this is not something that I use every single day. I kind of use it when my skin really needs it. You can use it every day. If you are really consistent with it, you will have overall more hydrated, more plump skin. But I kind of like to use this like almost like a sheet mask sometimes or a little boost of hydration to my skin when I need it. Again, this is hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5. The sixth product I want to talk about is the Buffet Multi-Technology Peptide Serum. So what this is, is an anti-aging serum. If you're concerned with collagen production, fine lines and wrinkles, this is a great starter serum to incorporate into your routine. This has peptides, hyaluronic acid, amino acids, and it targets multiple signs of aging. This is a water-based serum, so this I would use first and if I'm using a retinol I would use it after just because the retinol has like a lotion consistency and it's a little bit thicker. I used about 90% of the serum. It's almost gone, practically gone, and I didn't really notice it treating any fine lines or wrinkles because that's not really a huge concern of mine yet, but I did notice that it made my skin very plump and glowy and hydrated. It does have hyaluronic acid in it. All right, the seventh product I want to talk about is Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1%. I love this product. I really try to use it morning and nighttime. Niacinamide reduces the appearance of blemishes, and skin congestion, and zinc really helps to regulate sebum production. Niacinamide and zinc is really powerful together for anybody that has oily skin, congested skin, uh, acne prone skin. Niacinamide can be used AM and PM, and I love this product so much because it really makes a huge difference in my skin. Like if I'm having a bad acne day, if I'm having hormonal breakouts, and I apply this, I will see a difference in like very little time and it just works so effectively. I really try to incorporate this into my skincare routine AM and PM. There are some exceptions and one is that niacinamide is generally not recommended to be used with vitamin C. So if you are someone that uses a vitamin C serum in the morning, it's not recommended to use niacinamide together. The Ordinary doesn't recommend that you use their niacinamide with any sort of vitamin C. However, this is controversial. If you look it up on the internet, it's very 50-50. Um, some people say that you definitely don't want to use niacinamide and vitamin C together. And some people say that that's old news, that's old studies, um, you can use it, it's a myth. I recently started using niacinamide and vitamin C together. It's just a personal choice and I'm pretty comfortable with it. So my vitamin C right now from Drunk Elephant does have a thicker consistency than my niacinamide. So after I wash my face, I apply the niacinamide first, apply the vitamin C serum, and then apply the rest of my skincare routine. Again, that's just a personal choice and I recommend you guys to research and see what is best for you. That's seven products, we have two more to go. The next product I wanna talk about is Azalic Acid Suspension 10%. So azelaic acid is something that visibly brightens your skin tone and it fades dark spots and hyperpigmentation. So this does sound like a vitamin C. It's not a vitamin C serum, but it has very similar benefits. So if you are someone that is sensitive to vitamin C, because some people are sensitive to vitamin C, I highly recommend trying azelaic acid suspension. Another thing that's really great about azelaic acid is that it reduces any redness. So if you have rosacea, some people really love this for rosacea and see a huge difference in their skin. Um, I personally love this for fading any dark spots and fading any hyperpigmentation on the skin. I really notice a difference when I use this. You want to apply this after toners and after water-based treatments, but before your moisturizer. And this does have a thicker kind of lotion consistency to it, so it definitely looks like a moisturizer and almost feels like one when you're applying it on the skin, but it is a treatment. It leaves your skin with a really smooth finish, almost as if you've applied a silicone-based primer, if you guys know what I mean. 
Azelaic acid can be used with a retinol or any AHAs and BHAs, but again, you wanna use them on separate days. All right, the last product I wanna to talk to you guys about is the 100% organic cold pressed rosehip seed oil. So rosehip has a lot of great benefits to the skin. You guys can Google it, study it, but it's an anti-inflammatory, so it's gonna help with redness if you have sensitive skin rose hip seed oil is great it is a facial oil so facial oils are meant to be used after your moisturizer although you can combine the two together which is something that i do sometimes rose hip also has anti-aging benefits so it's going to help with fine lines and wrinkles by the way the ordinary does carry a lot of other facial oils they have marula oil they have some other plant oils but rose hip is really unique because it's great for anybody that has sensitive skin, it's great for all skin types. The only thing that I don't love about this is that it has a very grassy scent to it, but it is organic, it is cold pressed, so that's probably why. But again, rosehip seed oil is really easy to add into your routine. You can mix it with your moisturizer, you can apply it alone, you can apply it just for extra hydration whenever you need it. And again, it's great for all skin types. So this is the 100% organic cold pressed rosehip seed oil. All right, so now I wanna talk a little bit about how to layer these products together because it could definitely be intimidating, especially if you're new to the brand. But to me, there are two things to always keep in mind when you're confused about how to layer them. One is to know your order of skincare. Um, you guys can definitely Google this, research it on your own. Uh, the second thing to know, and this part is probably the most important out of all all of them is to always go from thinnest texture to thickest texture and that is how you want to layer them if you're confused about you know using niacinamide and retinol together which by the way you can use together they're great together uh, niacinamide has a thinner texture and this specific retinol has a thicker kind of lotion consistency, so it would go after the niacinamide. Also, if you guys are still confused about how to layer everything together, definitely go on Desiem's website. So Desiem is kind of the brand that owns Ordinary, and they do own a lot of other skincare brands, but Desiem is the main brand. You wanna go on their website. They have a whole guide on how to layer everything. And if you're ever confused about if this active ingredient can be used with this active ingredient, just look it up and Google it. That's honestly how I learned to layer them together. Um, and also when you purchase The Ordinary, there's always going to be instructions on the back on how to apply it, how much to apply it, when to use it, whether it's AM or PM, how often to use it, uh, and all of that. So definitely utilize the brand. Another thing that I wanna mention that is so, so important is that don't go crazy and try to use all these products at once. I definitely don't use all products from The Ordinary. In fact, I find them more as supplement supplemental to my skincare routines. In my next video, I wanna show you guys how I incorporate The Ordinary into my skincare routine because like I said, I don't use all products from The Ordinary. I know it can be really tempting to go crazy and buy like 10 products from the brand because they're so cheap but just keep in mind what your skin needs and use products that are gonna target that. A lot of these products actually have the same benefits. Try not to use both of those products at once. Use one one day, one another day, or one another week. Don't use everything at once because it's gonna cause a lot of irritation to your skin, especially when you're starting off. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new today. If you guys have any questions at all about any of these products, definitely leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them. And if you guys are not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure that you're subscribed so you can see 